SarcasticGamer.com was an independent video gaming blog and community site that was relaunched as a podcast. As part of the GamerCast Network, a community of independent podcasters, the website focused on parodying the latest events happening in the gaming industry. Although the website was best known for its satirical news articles and parodies, it also featured reviews, news, opinions and rants. All articles, however, stayed true to the sarcastic ethos of the site. Sarcastic Gamer was relaunched as a podcast-only website in December 2012 before closing its site in 2015. History The site was founded by Adams in early June 2007. The first SarcasticGamer.com article, written on the 11th of June 2007 after his first parody song, How You Killed Your Brand, a parody of How to Save a Life by the Fray, gained immense popularity on YouTube. As the popularity of the parodies and, consequently, the website increased, Adams needed to find reliable writers who could help him satisfy the growing demand for new material. The first to be approached was Sean Rothbart. Workman, a trusted GamerCast Network Forums member, who agreed to start preparing new articles for Sarcastic Gamer. Shortly thereafter, Matt Volkov Schmidt offered his help with the blog. Adrian Lono Cherikos, who had met with Adams on Xbox Live a few months before Sarcastic Gamer was created, started writing for the site after his debut on the Sarcastic Gamer podcast on July 13, 2007. Adams also recruited his friend David Cothran, who stars on the podcast with him and helps him edit the podcasts. With the site traffic increasing daily towards the end of 2007, more writers were required, leading to the recruitment of Alex Supaslick, Shaw and Anthony UST Youst in September, along with Eric Pacman Puller Bear Ross, who joined the staff in October 2007. Writer Matthew Animatius Shram and cartoonist Tim Mighty Mutt Hibbs joined Sarcastic Gamer in early 2008. John Yamster Brady and Alex Race Havoc Saunders were recruited as writers and in June 2008 and Ben EOCO Simmons joined the staff a month later. The same increases in traffic that necessitated the extra staff were the impetus behind the shifting of the site, in early 2008, from its original host service, Blogger, to its present self-hosting state with WordPress. Since the site is non-commercial, the staff rarely takes part in non-essential gaming events and gatherings. The first event the sarcastic gamer writers participated in was QuakeCon 2007, whilst the second one was Kane and Lynch Community Day. In July 2008, Jeremy Adams and David Cothran were able to receive E3 passes and attended the gaming convention and have since attended QuakeCon in 2008, the Penny Arcade Expo in 2008, the Godfather Part II Community Day and the Computer and Electronics Show in 2009. Aside from conventions, Jeremy Adams and Adrian Cherikos were invited by Microsoft in December 2007 to see the forthcoming device under development by the company, Microsoft Surface, thanks to the video parody of the device created by Adams. On April 6, 2009, Adrian Lono Cherikos announced his official departure from The Red Show and from his position as editor of the SarcasticGamer.com blog, following a dispute of creative differences between the co owners of the website. Following his departure, Yamster and EOCO replaced him in editorial positions and they selected six new writers under the pseudonyms of Dogsden Hotcars, O-L-D-M-R-E-G, Amer, Kreleth, Shanghai Six, Pillowfort, and Monstar. Even more new faces, Darkwonders, Esmeralda, and Lord Dradigan, have joined the writing staff since then. Starting with the Penny Arcade Expo on September 4, 2009, Cherikos resumed his writing and podcasting duties for Sarcastic Gamer, while continuing to support Achievement Hunter with his show, Respawn Radio with 8-BitBase and Knuckles Dawson. Respawn Radio joined the Sarcastic Gamer Network on March 3, 2010, after a dispute between Knuckles Dawson, a former co-host and Lono. Lono subsequently dropped Knuckles from the show and moved it to Sarcastic Gamer, with Keaton joining as the third chair. On April 5, 2010, Rothbart stepped down as community manager for Sarcastic Gamer, but he continues to do the PlayStation podcast. 
Rothbart's role as community manager was replaced by site webmaster Regua. In early December, 2011, regular content publication ceased and issues with Lono were cited as the cause. Each writer then posted a farewell article, followed by an official announcement that all current writers, with the exception of Lono, intended to leave the site. Podcasts are still being produced until a new home is found for them. In early 2012 the SG podcasters have officially announced that they have all moved to BigRedBarrel.com. They have said that all the active podcasts from SG will be transferring and future content will be posted on the new site. On December 27, 2012, Adrian Lono Cherikos announced on his Twitter feed that Sarcastic Gamer had relaunched as a collaboration between him and founder Jeremy Doc Adams. The inaugural podcast's new intro said that the podcast would be published on a semi-regular basis. However, the site's relaunch has been limited to just the podcasts, as the message boards and articles no longer exist. As of 2016, nothing related to SarcasticGamer.com is active anymore. Topic. Podcasts Topic. Sarcastic Gamer Podcast The Red Show The first Sarcastic Gamer Podcast episode was released on June 28, 2007 and was hosted by Doc, Dave and Drew, who left Sarcastic Gamer after episode 6 of the podcast. As the podcast was gaining popularity, more people joined as the hosts. On July 13, 2007, the second show was released with Lono, the new staff member, joining the trio. On August 24, 2007 Sarcastic Gamer joined the GamerCast Network, opening the show to a wider audience. On September 24, 2007, as the ninth episode was aired, Alex Shaw became a co-host. During the 30-minute show, the hosts discussed and argued about recent video gaming news in an entertaining and friendly way. There have been four longer specials, including episodes 10, 20 each 45-minute long, 21 60-minute long, and 155 minutes. In addition, the crew tries to plan a live, special show for each convention they attend. The show was referred to as the Red Show because of the how the podcast is synonymous with the site's logo and its importance over the different SG podcasts. The show, besides the usual podcast content, featured sarcastic gamer news updates, in which fake news published on the main site is read out by Paul Christie, assisted by pre-recorded clips of one of the hosts, usually Adams, performing a role in the sketch. The Red Show unexpectedly ended after completing 80 episodes, when Adrian Lono. Cherikos left the Red Show due to feeling distant from the staff on the show and likely, some more undisclosed circumstances. Following this, the other two remaining hosts retired the Red Show, but still continued to produce podcasts for the website. The Red Show continued production on 4 September 2009 when Doc and Dave announced the cancellation of Sarcastic Gamer Radio at the Fox Sports Club in Seattle, Washington and the continuing of the original podcast with Lono. On Friday 5 February 2010, The Red Show officially reached its 100th episode. The show is frequently featured among iTunes podcasts, highly reviewed and subscribed and updated almost every Wednesday. On 20 September 2011, The Red Show officially ended their broadcast due to personal reasons. On December 27, 2012, Adrian Lono Cherikos announced on his Twitter feed that Sarcastic Gamer had relaunched as a collaboration between him and founder Jeremy Doc Adams. The inaugural podcast's new intro said that the podcast would be published on a semi regular basis. Topic. Retired podcasts Topic. Sarcastic Gamer PlayStation Podcast The Blue Show Part of Sarcastic Gamer's effort to broaden its influence in gaming podcasts and PlayStation owner appeal, the PlayStation Podcast was launched in May 2008, becoming the third show to be launched in the Sarcastic Gamer Podcast lineup. About the same length as its predecessor, 30 to 40 minutes, the so-called Blue Show, 
is hosted by Sean Rothbart, Workman, Eric Pacman Puller Bear, Ross and Joseph Frawls, Frawley. The podcast, released every Friday, deals with matters relating to Sony and its gaming range. As the show grew more popular and its hosts more seasoned, it grew to be notorious among the staff and listeners for greatly surpassing its self-imposed runtime of 30 minutes, low-brow humor of the male anatomy and idiosyncratic segments in the show. Pac-Man is famous for his wheeze to preface the GamerCast network bumpers and referencing crazy Sony quotes in shows. Rothbart has become infamous for his biting humor, co-host deprecation and Frawls frequently mentions grotesque bodily functions in his love for PlayStation Home. Pac-Man and Rothbart have criticized Frawls in jest for not playing games, just as Frawls and Rothbart accused Pac-Man of not owning PlayStation 3 until he connected it to the internet and having a thing for BBWs. Wagers among the staff of the podcast have also been prevalent. Frawls wagered to Rothbart that the first six months of Killzone 2 sales would outnumber the sales of Little Big Planet in its first six months. The loser was required to purchase a Sumo Lounge Omni for the winner, as Sumo Lounge was a sponsor of Sarcastic Gamer at the time. The wager lasted until the summer of 2009, where Rothbart was declared the winner, with LBP outselling KZ2. On May 28, Frawls announced the shipping of a green Sumo and the first Age of Blue came to a conclusion. Since leaving Sarcastic Gamer, the show relaunched under the banner of The Blue Show, the BRB PlayStation podcast until its final episode in 2013. The show was proud to end its surprisingly long 200-episode run completely on its own terms. By all accounts, the show shouldn't have worked but when the show ended, it had consistently been rated in the top three PlayStation-centric podcasts on iTunes for years. Topic. Sarcastic Gamer Pink The Pink Show SG Pink caters to female gamers. Hosted by Harlequin, JexboxChick77 and Leslie, the podcast covers issues relevant to games and gaming from a female point of view. Launched in October 2008, it is typically released weekly on Thursdays, slotting in before the Sarcastic Gamer PlayStation Podcast and after the Sarcastic Gamer Podcast, Red. It is the fourth podcast to be an official Sarcastic Gamer production. Harlequin left hosting duties for the show on 14 August 2009, leaving Leslie and Jax to elect a successor through a series of auditions and tryouts. These auditions resulted in Harlequin's return to take up her regular role as the show's main host. As of 15 April 2010, Esmeralda replaced Leslie as a host on the show, bringing a youthful, re-energizing kick to the show's growing success. She helped integrate more hardcore gaming to the show as well as more PS3 news, something the show lacked before. Harlequin stepped down from the show yet again on 16 April 2011, this time permanently. She remained the show's executive producer while Keenstar took up her new role as an SG Pink podcaster. The girls recorded their last episode on 17 July 2011, officially ending the show. Topic. Sarcastic Gamer Brown The Brown Show The Brown Show, the sixth official Sarcastic Gamer podcast, began on November 23, 2009. The founder, Doc Adams, swapped the air dates of the Red Show and the then Hump Day update due to his busy real-life work schedule. The Hump Day crew, now airing on Monday, decided to drop the Hump Day update title and continue on with Sarcastic Gamer Brown and added a fourth chair, Yoshifit, to the selection of co-hosts. This is currently the only SG podcast with four hosts. In this show, live discussions of gaming, pre-recorded parody songs and advice segments are aired. Since leaving Sarcastic Gamer, the show has relaunched under the banner of Big Red Barrel Boom. Topic. Sarcastic Gamers Respawn Radio Respawn Radio began on May 5, 2009 on AchievementHunter.com, a sister site of RoosterDeeth.com. Lono and 8BitBase hosted the show along with AchievementHunter.com staffer, vlogger Knuckles Dawson. 
The podcast remained on AchievementHunter.com until February 23, 2010 episode 43 when the relationship between Lono and Knuckles Dawson – Roosterteeth broke down and Lono moved the podcast to SarcasticGamer.com. Lono and 8BitBase then hosted SGRR with a rotating third chair and pre-recorded updates from Captain Average. Guest hosts for Respawn Radio have included Brown Show host Dogsda, Pink Show hosts Harlequin and Esmeralda, Blue Show host Pac-Man Polar Bear and website graphic designer Undead Dog. On January 29, 2011, the first show with guest host Keaton aired and he became a permanent fixture until episode 93. At this time, Lono refused to let 8BitBase release an episode Lono had not shown up to record. After further arguments, both 8BitBase and Keaton agreed to leave the show and formed the CGR podcast with former Respawn Radio host Knuckles Dawson. The first episode of the CGR podcast debuted on July 12, 2011. Respawn Radio returned with Lono and 8BitBase on a semi-regular basis until 2014 when they honored Knuckles Dawson after he passed in May 2014. There has been no shows since. If T is currently no longer in production. Topic. Sarcastic Gamer UK Originally a SG community podcast known as On Her Majesty's Sarcastic Service, SG UK began as an official Sarcastic Gamer podcast on October 27, 2010. SG UK caters to the UK audience of Sarcastic Gamer, as many shows are US-centric and a considerable proportion of Sarcastic Gamer's audience originate from the UK, it was considered that it was only appropriate to offer a dedicated UK podcast in Sarcastic Gamer's lineup of shows. The show is currently hosted by Captain Average originally of Respawn Radio, Mighty Mutt and Yamster and offers UK-focused gaming news and discussion. The show consists of a number of regular segments, such as The Great British Debate and Motion Control Watch in addition to the usual coverage of gaming news whilst wearing leotards. SG UK debuted at the number one spot on the iTunes UK video game podcast chart and has enjoyed consistently high chart rankings since its release. Since leaving Sarcastic Gamer, the show has relaunched under the banner of the Big Red Barrel UK podcast. Topic. Sarcastic Gamer Community Podcast The Sarcastic Gamer Community Podcast is not a podcast, but an initiative designed to give the members of the Sarcastic Gamer Community the forums a chance to make their own podcast and have it featured on the site. Anyone who is a member of the SGC can record their own podcast and submit the finished product to the site. It will then be added to the SGCP iTunes feed, where it can be freely downloaded and listened to. The community podcast feed is operated by Sarcastic Gamers Community Podcast Coordinator 8BitBase and is updated as often as there are new shows. Topic. Sarcastic Gamer Radio Sarcastic Gamer Radio was the replacement for the then-retired Red Show. The first episode was released on Monday, April 13, 2009 and was considered to be a variety show, hosted by two people of the former Red Show cast, Doc and Dave. It was considered to be more of a spiritual successor because of its far departure from the structure of the Red Show. It featured community-oriented content such as 15 Seconds of Fame, as well as game discussions and sarcastic gamer news. The show was retired on September 4, 2009 with the announcement of the Red Show's return at the Fox Sports Grill in Seattle, Washington. Topic. Hump Day Update Since January 23, 2008, the Sarcastic Gamer podcast became a twice-weekly podcast. Released on a Wednesday, the Hump Day Update or The Orange Show, was introduced to help the Red Show hosts deal with the weekly flood of gaming information. Usually a 10-15 to 15 minute overview of the events taking place in the video game world, the so-called Orange Show, was first hosted by the staff on The Red Show. Any Wednesday podcasts were put on hold indefinitely to coincide with the retirement of The Red Show and the departure of Lono on 6 April 2009. Doc and Dave, however, pursued a replacement internally with the community. 
On June 24, 2009 the show was replaced with a new crew consisting of Dogsden Hotcars, Smelly Pirate and Saint Mantooth and revamped to be a 30-minute long show, consisting of its own news and features. All of these members were the crew of former The Panda Watch Community Podcast. Due to scheduling conflicts, the Hump Day update switched days with the Red Show. Because having a Hump Day show coming out on a Monday didn't make too much sense, they rechristened the show as The Brown Show. The Brown Show retained the previous hosts of the Hump Day Update along with the added host, Yoshifit. Other features Although the long-term success Sarcastic Gamer has experienced is earned largely from podcasts, other features are on the site that generate traffic from a diverse audience. Parody songs As it is primarily a parody and satire site, Sarcastic Gamer's parody songs form an important part of its appeal. Parodies include, How to Kill a Brand, Halo 3 Hoedown, Hey Mr. Thompson, This Second Life, Ring of Fire, PlayStation Has No Freaking Games, I Hate This, We Fat. Silence Cliffy B. and The Price is Too High, parodying various songs by The Fray, Plain White Tees, and Johnny Cash, among others. The notoriety from these parodies has amassed millions of views on YouTube, hundreds of thousands of MP3 downloads, and a featured video section on video game website IGN. There are also video parodies, namely the Microsoft Surface, Wii Fit, and Wii Music spoofs, which use original source videos with humorous voiceovers. They have been published on many other gaming, and non-gaming blogs and websites. The parodies were also aired on G4 TV. This publicity has resulted in the parodies being downloaded and or streamed more than 6 million times. Most of them were written and sung by Jeremy. Doc. Adams. Topic. Fiction Friday. Fiction Friday on Sarcastic Gamer is a weekly feature every Friday when every article not tagged as nonfiction is fake. All important gaming-related community news and events are covered and often parodied in the articles, as well as tagged as fake news or Fiction Friday. Topic: The Top 100 Gaming Moments of the Year. Throughout December 2007 and 2008, Sarcastic Gamers staff posted a list of the 100 most important gaming moments of the year 2007, including game releases, important quotes, significant company merges and breakups and SarcasticGamer.com related events. Topic forums The Sarcastic Gamer Forum community forms an integral part of both the main site and the podcast. The competitions run by the site, while announced in the podcasts, can only be entered by registered users and only forum members can post and reply to threads. Not only do the forum discussions concern the sarcastic gamer site, but the users often talk about other aspects of gaming as well as topics not connected with video games. Currently, over 6,000 community members make up the Sarcastic Gamer Community SGC. Currently, the forums are moderated by four dedicated forum moderators Mike Ala Douche Sutton, Shane 86, Uzel, and Sam Deadpoolski right, as well as select staff writers and podcasters. The forums and the main page are maintained by resident webmaster Regua. Topic. App Sarcastic Gamer has released an app on the iOS and Android platforms. All previous episodes of every podcast are available to stream or download although these downloaded episodes can only be played on the app and also provide bonus content. This content usually consists of an extra few minutes of the podcast and occasionally a wallpaper for the user's mobile device. The app is currently priced at £1.79 in the UK and $2.99 in the US. Topic. Comics A recent addition to the SG lineup, the weekly comic has fast become one of the most popular features of the site. 
the work of Tim Mighty Mutt Hibbs, it follows the fictional adventures of the staff, as well as some community members. Launched on March 27, 2008, the comic primarily covers issues and events related to the Sarcastic Gamer Community SGC. A prominent example was the much-hyped COD4 tournament against fellow GamerCast Network podcasters, Gamertag Radio. The artist generated characters, known as Sarcastic Smileys, or Avatars have become an integral part of the sarcastic gamer community to the point where most users who receive one after Mighty Mutt selects them, will use them as their avatar on the forums. <laughs> <laughs> Events Besides conventions, special podcasts or special blog coverage, a few special, site-specific events have happened over sarcastic gamers' young history. From rallying up national coverage to fight video game publishers to gaining a following in the fight against pediatric cancer, Sarcastic Gamer has experienced polarizing, moving events since its founding. Boycott After EA decided to make certain weapons exclusive content to players who paid extra with the release of and announced their decision to do so with Battlefield, Bad Company, Sarcastic Gamer urged fans and readers to boycott the game's release and cancel their pre-orders. Many websites from around the world got involved in or mentioned the boycott making it very popular among gamers and eventually reaching IGN which contacted Electronic Arts, the publisher of the game, causing it to finally cease the idea of paid weapons. As a result of this, on April 9, 2008, Sarcastic Gamer announced that the goal of the boycott had been achieved and that the boycott was lifted. Topic: First birthday A major event on the Sarcastic Gamer calendar, the first birthday of the site was celebrated around the world on Saturday 14 June, with parties planned in various American cities, namely Chicago, Illinois, Houston, Texas, New York, New York, Los Angeles, as well as London, United Kingdom and Ottawa, Ontario, Canada. There also were online celebrations held on Xbox Live and the PlayStation Network. Extra Life 2008 A charity effort to raise money for pediatric cancer, Extra Life was launched in 2008 by the owners of Sarcastic Gamer. Over 1,600 participants played video games for 24 hours on October 16. The participants collected money from their sponsors who gave money per each hour played. Generally, some sponsors paid $1 per hour, effectively donating $24. The average was approximately $3 per hour. All of the money went to the Texas Children's Cancer Center. Extra Life raised $115,000 in 2008. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Extra Life 2009. Extra Life 2009 was quite successful, with Sarcastic Gamer and all other participating communities raising over $170,000. <laughs> Extra Life 2010 Extra Life 2010 was Sarcastic Gamer's biggest success till 2011, with everyone helping to raise over $451,000. Extra Life has also expanded to help local children hospitals, all around the world, with more than just pediatric cancer research. <laughs> Extra Life 2011 Extra Life 2011 more than doubled the 2010 total to raise $1.1 million for 175 children's hospitals around the world. The event was played simultaneously on every continent except Antarctica. <laughs> <laughs>